Good morning, you're watching Channel 16 News on another perfect day where probably nothing will go wrong. Nope, 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 I can't do this. Uh, Stevie? What's up, Micah man? I got a problem. We, we've got a big problem. Go on. So I was just sitting at my computer doing my work when all of a sudden my blistering hot quad long double shot grande salted caramel mocha latte with extra foam and butterscotch drizzle betrayed me. I burnt my tongue on my coffee and spilled it on my computer. Oh, you know, I'm sorry that happens. But it's okay, we'll just get a tech it, guy. It gets worse. I think I may have accidentally deleted open source. You deleted open source. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I deleted open source. <laughs> you deleted. I deleted open source! Just delete open source, okay? It, it's an idea, it's a movement, it's a community. You can't delete a community, Micah. I know that, but I, I did. You what? and without warning, open source is seemingly vanishing from the face of the earth. Without open source, it seems that the world's technology is reverting back to what it would have been without it. Global positioning satellites are reportedly vanishing altogether, rendering GPS inaccessible. They're left! Innocent people around the world are finding their phones, tablets, and other devices are being completely replaced. The internet seems to be a thing of the past. Power and energy infrastructures across the globe seem to be shutting down, melting who knows how many gallons of precious ice cream. No! In other words, the world has gone completely bonkers. Coming up next, is your garden hose actually giving you existential post-traumatic stress disorder? More after the break. Wow, that escalated really quickly. Yeah, what do we do? Uh, there's gotta be a way to fix this. Did somebody say there's got to be a way to fix this? Because there's got to be a way to fix this as my soon-to-be legally changed second middle name. Guys, it's me, Glenn. Yeah, we know who you are, Glenn. We've worked together for like five years. Yes, you have, and you haven't. What do you want, Glenn? I'm Glenn from the future. I can prove it. In exactly 10 seconds, past me will walk around that corner, look out that window, give no discernible reaction in stark contrast to the chaos happening outside, and keep on walking in three, two, one. <laughs> That's not the weirdest thing to have happened today. Why are you here? 
to save the past. I return to stop what we refer to in the future as the great Micah Mocha mishap of 2022. They do not call it that, do they? They wrote songs about it. Alas, a simple miscalculation sent me back a mere 30 seconds too late. I'm too late to save the world and to restore open source to its proper place among the stars. Wait, 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 back up. You have a time machine? Wow, you built this? After open source evaporated from the world, I knew I had to do something. What is this place? This is where past Glenn comes to get away from you, and where future us will invent time travel. I actually couldn't have done it without you two. Future yous, anyway. We're much cooler. So, why not just go to the past again? Stop this all from ever happening. <laughs> My sweet star child, it's not that simple. This was only designed for a single trip. We can't go back again. Okay, wait. Maybe we can't go back, but what if we go forward? You mean back to the future? No, please don't say that. We just need to invent an even better time machine in the future. One that can make multiple trips instead of just one, no offense. And then we send it back to the present time. As long as we still invent a time machine like we did in the past in the future, then the future future won't be the only future. So then we send it back from the future to the past, which is our present. I love it. I don't know what's happening. Okay. We can do this. In the future, we invent a better time machine and send it back to right now. Shockingly simple solution. Neat. All right. Now all we need is a plan. A foolproof plan so that we don't mess things up again. Don't worry. I got this. I love you. I know. <gasps> I was, he was. strange and at times kind of uncomfortable. Can you guys imagine a world without open source? I can't now. I can't help but wonder what the future has in store for open source. I mean, we could take a peek. I mean, we could go back to the future? 